Little is known about Xi Mingzi, nicknamed Xiao Muzi, the daughter of Xi Jinping. But could she be pulling strings or having a huge role in the dictator's decisions? Well, to answer that question, we are going to take a deeper look in the Xi family and their history. In 1987, Peng Luyen, a popular Chinese folk singer, married Xi Jinping, who would later become the mother of his mysterious child. Born on June 25th, 1992, Xi Mingzi, as of 2022, is 30 years old. And it is important that we take a look at what has happened in those 30 years of Xi Mingzi's life to gauge the relationship between the dictator Xi Jinping and his daughter. Because who knows, maybe the two don't get along very well. A lot of this information can only be generalized because Xi Jinping cares very much about the privacy of his daughter. So much so that a website technician named Nui Tingyu leaked information about Xi Mingzi and was sentenced to 14 years in prison. Xi Mingzi has only publicly appeared a handful of times in her entire life. During these appearances, no cameras were allowed. So the earliest record we can trace back to Xi Mingzi is in 2008 when she volunteered as a disaster relief worker for about one week following the Sichuan earthquake. Reporters asked if the parents were worried for her safety. Both Xi Jinping and Peng Lian agreed that it was important that she went out and helped the community. So it sounds like both Xi Jinping and Peng Luyan put effort in an attempt to raise a well-rounded child that they cared and loved for. We also know that in high school she studied at Hangzhou Foreign Languages School where she indulged in the French language. It is also safe to assume that Xi Jinping and Xi Mingzi have a good father-daughter relationship because Xi Jinping went to great lengths in order to protect her personal information from the entire world. Later down the road in 2010 after Xi Mingzi attended high school and a year of undergrad study at Zhejiang University, she traveled to the United States of America using a fake identity in order to study psychology at Harvard University. Many people claim this is a red flag, and it also raises some important questions. Does Harvard have ties to the Chinese Communist Party? The short and simple answer to that question is actually yes. If we look at Harvard professor Charles Lieber, it was found that he hid his involvement in a Chinese campaign, lied to authorities about his involvement with China, and had an offshore Chinese bank account which he did not report to the United States while filing his taxes. Eventually, he was to be tried in federal court. However, all of the charges that were going to be held against him mysteriously ended up getting voided. Charles is just one of the many examples that proves Harvard to be connected to the Chinese Communist Party. Harvard is known to educate the children of dictators in order to form a strong connection to the country for any benefits it may bring them, no matter how horrendous of a report card or transcript the child may have had. Many people believe that Xi Mingzi, after getting her bachelor's degree, left the United States in 2014 and returned to Beijing. However, that was not the case. In February 2022, U.S. Congresswoman Vicki Hartzler's press release revealed that Xi Mingzi had re-enrolled for graduate studies in 2019 and is living in the United States. As far as Xi Mingzi's personal interests, she is into reading, writing, and fashion. She is also known to be somewhat of an easygoing, quiet, studious, and courteous woman. It is assumed by experts that Xi Mingzi likely has taste for Western culture and civilization, as do most Chinese students who study abroad in America. Analysis of foreign students have found that Chinese citizens are more likely than others to stay in America, so it is entirely possible that Xi Mengzi is heavily influenced by Western music, television, and overall culture. It is also possible that Xi Mengzi's potential love for American culture is influencing Xi Jinping to be more lighthearted when it comes to Western civilization in America because he does not want to hurt what his daughter loves. During the early years of Peng Luan and Xi Jinping's marriage, Xi Jinping would become very interested in things like the singing techniques of Peng Luyan, so they seemed to hit it off. However, they often spent time apart due to their differences in profession. Other than that, they seemed to live a fairly normal family life. Peng Luyan stated that when he comes home, I've never felt as if there's some leader in the house. In my eyes, he's just been my husband. She also says that Xi Jinping is very down to earth, especially around family. It seems that Xi Jinping's family is his soft spot, which could affect the choices he makes in his regime. Even if Xi Mengzi isn't directly persuading Xi Jinping to liking America, if he notices his daughter is taking a liking to America, maybe even he subconsciously could admire some aspects of America and Western culture. So to answer the question, 
question, is Xi Mengzi pulling strings in the Chinese president's office? Well, most likely yes and no. She's probably not directly asking her dad to create certain laws and acts to make China become more like America while at the dinner table, but it is more probable that her father sees her enjoying Western culture in America and subconsciously is less harsh towards America because he cares about his daughter and her interests. Therefore, this is how Xi Mengzi, the daughter of Chinese President Xi Jinping, is and isn't pulling strings in the Chinese Communist Party. Thank you for taking the time to watch today's video about the unknown daughter of Xi Jinping, Xi Mengzi, also known as Xiao Muzi. If you liked today's video, make sure to comment on what you liked about it. See you in the next video, and until then, best wishes.